All right, a lot of my students wonder why it is that when you square both sides of an equation, you have to put everything in parentheses. Well, let me show you why. So let's say for instance that I have eight plus one equals nine. We all know that that's true. Okay, so what everyone wants to do here is when you square this, you want to just square both elements. All right, so that would mean that eight squared plus one squared equals nine squared, except what you realize is that this is not the case at all. That means that 64 plus one equals 81. It's not true. You need to put eight plus one in parentheses and then square it before it works the same way because as you'll see, eight plus one is the same thing as nine. So it's a little bit less obvious when you're seeing things with a variable. So for instance, you have x plus y equals 13. And when you square both sides, everyone wants to say, okay, well sure, x squared plus y squared equals 169. Remember, this is not the case. It's not true. x plus y squared in parentheses equals 169. And remember, when you distribute, this equals x squared plus 2xy plus y squared which equals 169. So the next time you have to square both sides of an equation, remember this, this does not equal this, and then you'll be good to go. So parenthesize everything, and then it becomes really simple to see why you end up having to do everything to a group, and not just individual elements within something like this.